15 megabytes. Now if we open it up, we'll see... <laughs> Now on a slower connection, maybe only a 1 meg connection, but it's going to take a long time to upload. So what we're going to do here is compress it locally on your local machine, get the file size down a lot, and then that will allow you to upload it to YouTube a lot faster or, like I said, any other video sharing site. So the first thing we need to do is get some software which will reduce the file size, compress the file size of this video. Now, what you need to do is search, Google's probably the best way to do this, the software is called Handbrake, so we'll search, do Handbrake video, search as a keyword and you'll find the software. Now this is a free and open source software, which means basically it's free to use, don't have to pay your penny money or anything. Um, it comes in lots of different flavours, so which is your operating system, I'm actually on Linux. So I've already installed this, but if you're on Windows, you would uh, download the the Windows version. Now the GUI is Graphical User Interface. That's probably the one you want. So if you just grab that, um, it'll start to download it, save it to your desktop, install it, and away you go. Uh, we'll cancel that. I've already installed this, so let me just open it up for you. Now this is uh, I'm using Ubuntu here. This is a Linux. Uh, distro and I'm sure you're probably going to use Windows or maybe a Mac it'll look different but the application runs exactly the same so find it uh, once you've installed it and run it uh, sorry about this uh, no. let me just get rid of that I was doing something previously so this is what you'll end up with once you've installed it this is the software it's called Handbrake now it might look quite complex which it may be, but ultimately we do not need any of these options really. This is all if you want to customize things, we really don't need to do that. The only thing you're interested in really is is the source. This is we're gonna load this video into this application. So if you choose source, it'll choose it'll open up the file browser. Um again this is Linux so it lists file browser looks different to yours. Um Windows will load up its default one. Just select the video you're after um and then open it. And there we go. Now you'll notice it will scan the video and you'll see a little preview here. And it will load in some defaults, so here are the, the settings based on what video format is. Now on the right here, you can see these presets. Um, this software allows it, allows you to convert video to many different formats, such as uh, consoles like PlayStation or on the Apple, you can convert it for your iPod. And all that. For, for now, all, all we're concerned with is a normal compression. That's going to give us the best file format compression to upload to YouTube. That's, that's what we want. Um, the only other setting is so is your destination. This is where the file is going to be saved out to. Um, I'm going to save it back to the desktop. So if you go browse, choose your desktop, give it a file name. I'm going to say uh, smaller video. And then save that. So that's going to save to my desktop as that video file name there. Um, again, that's it. Choose a source. Choose the image. Im uh, sorry, the video input. Uh, make sure your preset is to normal. And then just tell it where to save uh, the destination through browse. And then that's it. Next step is just hit start. Now this will start to encode it. Um, this means it will analyze the video, the image colors, uh, the motion of the video, and then eventually it'll save out as a video file a lot smaller. I'll hit go. Now what it does is a two-pass encoding. Um, what this means is it first pass will analyze every frame of the video, uh, taking in the motion, color, um, the contrast, all that different information to work out what is the best and optimal compression it can do on each on each frame of that animation. So the next stage will the second pass will actually be saving out that video. Now this is only a minute long video and it's only 640 by 480 very small. Um, so it's only going to take me about two minutes in total to save this video. Now if you've got a longer video, if it's an, an hour the longer the video in length the longer it's going to take to com to uh, compress. Also, the file size, uh, sorry, 
the dimensions of it. This is 640 by 480, but if you're doing HD, uh, which can 1080p is uh, 1024 by 720, I believe. Um, again, that's going to take a lot longer to do. Um, the other factor is the speed of your computer. Um, if your computer's an old computer, if it's a Pentium um, or something like that, it's going to take a lot longer. If you're running a more modern CPU, a more, a more modern PC with a dual-core processor, you'll get a lot faster um, compression. Just something to bear in mind. Um, you can leave this going. This is going to take, for me, two minutes. But if you've got a half-hour video of it in HD, you, it could potentially take hours. So you know, leave it going. Come back to it later. So. So, little context to this. Um, my digital camera doesn't really compress it at all actually uh, um, it does no real compression which is the reason why why the file size is so large 115 megabytes for a one minute video is is huge I think it's no video compression done at all um, this what it's actually doing is converting it into a compressed mp4 format it's using a codec called h264 this is pretty much what happens with an mp3 so if you ripped your um, uh, an audio track from your CD and didn't do any compression on it, it'd be maybe 80 or 100 megabytes long for a 2-3 minute long audio track. You run it through an MP3 compressor, it'll strip out things and do some compression and we'll take it down to 3-4 megabytes. Exactly the same thing is going on here. Uh, so that's done, RIP is done, I can, uh, I can close this program, I can quit this now. So what we'll do is we'll show you the difference here if I look at the properties of this original video. So this is the original 115 megabytes. If I look at the properties of this one, compare it only eleven megabytes. So you can see a drastic difference there. Um, again uploading this uploading 115 megabytes even on a fast connection could take an hour or two. Eleven megabytes is only gonna take 10-15 minutes. Um, but more importantly, let's look at the quality difference, because you will always lose quality when you compress um, anything, especially video. So if we load up the original here, I'll make sure it's the original file, recent size dimensions. So if we play this, you'll see there's lots of fine detail, especially in this wall at the lower, lower part of the screen. Some nice colours, greens and blues there. Now, usually if you compress things, the, the first thing to go is the sharpness of the image and you'll lose a lot of the detail. But because we did a two-pass compression, which is the default with handbrake, it tries to keep as much detail as possible while reducing the file size. So if we open this up, make sure we're at its native resolution there, you should see that we still keep the nice colours, the detail, there's no blocking, there's no blurriness. And I think I'll just pause it here. There's quite a lot of still, you know, sharpness is still in the brickwork, like you can still see the quality has been remained. And this is, the difference here is from 100 megabytes to 10 megabytes pretty much. And there's no real loss of, uh, of quality there. So that's it. Um, now to the tutorial. So if you take video on your camcorder or your digital digital camera, you'll and it's too big to upload or it's gonna take too long to load, you need to compress it down. This is the way to do it and you can get the best out of it and get the fastest upload.